The beautiful weather this weekend is luring a lot of people outside, and that includes crowds of people walking, jogging, or biking, crossing the Stone Arch Bridge. The span connects the St. Anthony main area with downtown, but not for much longer. Richard Reeve is live to explain the bridge construction coming up starting Monday. Rich. Yeah, Callan, and a lot of folks are still out here Saturday and Sunday, the last chance you'll have to cross the entire span. Those midnight crews start work at 5 o'clock Monday morning. This is Claw Hammer Mike's happy place. This is absolutely a magical spot for me. A musician and a printmaker, one of his regular gigs is here on the St. Anthony Main side of the Stone Arch Bridge. 100 times two years ago, 75 times last year, a bunch of times this year. But with his rescue dog Cora by his side, this banjo virtuoso is hardly alone. Hundreds of pedestrians and bicyclists packing the bridge on this beautiful weekend. I love it. I didn't really know about it until I moved here. All these good vibes, perhaps tempered a bit, with word that half the bridge, the St. Anthony main side, is closing for repairs starting Monday. In the very least, bring the kids out and start to do one last walk all the way across. MnDOT says the 141-year-old bridge needs a preservation facelift to slow its deterioration. The first repairs since it was converted into a pedestrian bridge in the mid-1990s. Repairing mortar, um, repairing stones and replacing stones as needed. The goal of this is to preserve what we already have um, to make sure that it lasts for uh, you know years to come. For the $38.5 million project, crews will first close the St. Anthony main side from Monday until the spring of 2025 and the downtown side until the fall. The project's scheduled to finish in the spring of 2026. We'll be back once it's open again. For Nicole and Sean Gaw, who brought their kids Saturday, construction or not, this is a special place. Brought my husband kind of hiking all over here when we first started dating. So how does a bridge evoke such strong emotions? It's a mystery, perhaps intertwined in stone, mortar, and memories. I'm telling you, I really love it up here, and I'll miss it terribly. And if you still want those bridge views, you can walk from the downtown side halfway across the bridge and then turn around. The alternate bridge is the Third Avenue Bridge, but Callan, tomorrow is the last big day that you can walk all the way across. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News.